Hi everyone, have you ever wondered how plants get water and nutrients from the ground all the way up to their leaves? Or how the food made in the leaves gets to the rest of the plant? Today, we're going to explore how three important plant organs, the roots, stem, and leaves, work together like a team in a transport system. Welcome to Science 8. Our learning competency for this session is to describe how plant organs, leaf, stem, roots, work together as the transport system. To understand better the transport system of a plant, we need to describe the function of each part and how they interact with one another to absorb, deliver, and produce the important materials needed by plants. These parts are the leaves, stems, and roots. The root of a plant has major functions. These are to absorb water and minerals from the soil, anchoring and supporting the plant, and storing food. Among these functions, we are going to focus on the first part since it is related to the transport system of a plant. Let's start underground with the roots. Roots have tiny hair-like structures that absorb water and minerals from the soil. These nutrients are then passed into the plant's vascular system, like tiny highways, called xylem. The xylem transports water and mineral ions upwards from the root of the plant up the stem. The water moves in a transpiration stream. The xylem is made of elongated dead cells. They have tough walls made of lignin. Think of roots as the plant's straw, pulling water up using a process called capillary action and osmosis. Next is the stem. It provides structure by holding it upright. As part of the transport system of a plant, it carries fluids between throughout the whole plant. The stem acts like a transport highway. It carries water and minerals upward through the xylem, and it also carries food, made by the leaves, down through the phloem. The main role of the roots and stem is to transport substances around the plant to where they are required. Water and nutrients in the soil enter the plant via the roots. The roots then transport these substances to the stem. This effective transport system is found in the vascular bundle of the root and stem. As seen in the cross-section of a stem of a plant, this is present as structured cells inside. The xylem, responsible for water transport is found at the central part of the vascular bundle. Meanwhile, the phloem is found at the outer part of the vascular bundle. This is responsible for the food transport of the plant. The phloem transports sucrose and amino acids, both upwards and downwards in the plant. The phloem is made of living cells arranged end to end. The phloem moves substances from where they are stored to where they are used via a process called translocation. Now, up in the leaves, the magic of photosynthesis happens. Using sunlight, carbon dioxide from the air, and water from the roots, the leaves make glucose, a type of sugar. This food is then sent down through the phloem to feed the entire plant, from the tip of the roots to the new growing buds. Together, the roots, stem, and leaves form a powerful transport system that keeps the plant alive and growing. Each part has a job, but they all work as one team. Thanks for watching, and keep exploring the amazing world of plants. Thank you for watching. See you again next time.